What's up, you guys? How are you all? We are back today with the beret. Kind of loving it. Hopefully, I put it on good. Uh, the baby's asleep, so. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a review and a lip swatch video on these brand new products by e.l.f. So these are their Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. That's a mouth mouthful. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens, yes. There are eight shades in the line and these retail for $8 each. I did go ahead and pick up all of them and I've been testing them out for the past few days to give you guys my full feedback and review on them. So I got some thoughts, let's do this. So a little bit about these Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. Basically, it's described as a tinted moisturizing lip plumping gloss with a cooling sensation that gives you a smooth, glossy, and plumped up pout. A 3-in-1 lip plumper gloss and balm with a cooling tingle infused with lip-loving ingredients. Drenched lips with sheer color and a glossy shine. So I actually have to agree with the description of these. They definitely leave like a cooling effect on the lips. And it does give like that plumping sensation, but it's not... Mama filming. Um, it's not to such an extreme like some other lip injection type of lip products. You know what I mean? So I definitely feel like e.l.f. hit it out of the park with these. They're comfortable. They're nicely pigmented. Not ultra pigmented, but not sheer at all. So you could build up or sheer it out if you really want to. It's not the thinnest formula and it's not like the thickest either. You feel like there is something on your lips, but it's not uncomfortable. And I love that these are not sticky. I also have this uh, kit here by Sephora, the Sephora collection one. Don't ask me why I look at stuff on the inside. But a lot of people are comparing it to the Tarte Maracuja lip plumping products. This is the only one that I've ever tried and it's like a deep purple. So here you could see here. I would definitely say these are a bit more sheer and more jelly-like. These feel a little bit more like a gloss as opposed to like a lip balm, but this still does give you uh, the comfortability of a lip balm, I would say. Also, these by Tarte have more of that like lip injection type of feel which i'm not about i want to try out their regular non-plumping formula um so again these have like a cooling sensation but it's not extreme and they're so beyond comfortable so let's get started with the lip swatches so you guys can feel out what this collection has to offer okay so the first shade that they have up is in the clear i love that they have a clear one as an option once the product is out of the box here is what it looks like you just click it over here and then it comes out of this little area. I would love it if it would be able to kind of be retractable, but it's not. Once you click it, it doesn't go back. So let's try on this clear one. Doesn't have any color. Uh, so you're really not gonna see much. But yeah, it's pretty much clear. And it's nice and hydrating. Very hydrating, easy. These also don't have like any major scent to them. But yeah, here's what this one looks like, clear. Nothing to really write home about with this, but it's a good one to layer if you want to wear like a lip liner underneath. This would be nice to wear on top. Next up, we have the shade Just Peachy, and the shade over here indicates what the lip color is. Just open it up, and then here is what it looks like. This one I absolutely love. I would say it's more of like a milky peachy shade. If you love light nudes that you can throw on and not really think about, this one's it. It's one of my favorites. The next shade that we have up is called Pinky Out. It's more pink compared to the previous one, which is more peach. And then here is what this one looks like. I feel like this would be a really good Charles Hilbury pillow talk dupe. But again, it's a beautiful, just perfect, everyday um, pinky nude. I'm obsessed. Say hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. The next thing that we have up is called Toasted. This is described as a natural beige. And it's still more on the nude side, but there's more of a beigeness to this. This one's also right up my alley. So here's what this one looks like. I wouldn't say it's too warm or too cool. I want to say it's like right in the middle there. So this would be really nice with like either or like cool tone or warm tone looks. I think it's such a also a yummy, yummy shade. You guys know my life is nude colors. Give me this guy, baby. Don't 
Pikachu ni. The next shade that we have up is called Bust a Mob, which you guys guessed it is more of like a mobby tone shade. Pretty cool though, not too warm. Yeah, and this I would say is perfect because if you usually don't wear deeper shades but you kind of want to get into the deep life, this could be really nice because it's dark but it's not overly dark and it's more of like a mauve tone shade. So here's this. The next shade that we have up is called Wicked Cherry. And this I would say is a cherryish color but also is like more maybe raspberry. You guys will see once it's on the lips. <laughs> So this does have a little bit of redness in there, hence the cherry name, but I feel like it's more burgundy in a sense. But yeah, blue, <laughs> that came out very squeaky, but yeah. But yeah, this is what Wicked Cherry looks like. Now we're up to these two yummy colors. They're deeper, but they're so pretty on. Okay, next up we have the shade Red My Mind. Red, like R-E-D, -E not R-E-A-D. How cute is that name? So here's what this one looks like. Even though I don't love reds on me. How stunning is this? You could see it's slightly see-through in a way, but you could could build it up well, if you do want to. This is more of like a cherry shade compared to the other one that's actually called Mind Cherry Mind, whatever it's called. But this is so pretty because it's not like super intense, but it's just like you know when like your red lipstick lipstick kind of wore off, and then like you have a little bit of stain, so you throw on like a gloss, and then it looks something like this. That's what this product is. It's so beautiful and it's like softer almost, you know, it's not like bam red. It's like a soft red and I like this a lot. Okay, then the final shade that we have up is called Plum on Over. It's like a plum, slightly like magenta shade, I would say. I just gave this guy some Cheerios. What a mush. Here's what this beauty looks like. Also, right up my alley. I love these kind of tones. It's just like, I feel like it looks really nice, honestly. I really have no other words. Elf did such an amazing job with this collection. I feel like from the colors to the quality to how they feel on the lips, just really, really nice. I will say though, with the few lighter shades, you definitely don't need a, like a lip liner. You could just throw it on and kind of call it a day, which I personally love with lip products. With the deeper shades though, you probably would be better off with a lip liner because it can kind of, you know, go out of the lip line just a little bit. Um, but if you don't care for it to look perfectly perfect, I think on its own, like I think I did a pretty good job with that lip liners. So, but they would pair really well with lip liners. Like imagine that, the poutiness it would give. If you guys are in the market for a new lip product, I definitely feel like these are worth it by e.l.f., especially for the $8 price tag. It's just, I don't know, I'm very impressed, honestly. So this is a winning, winning item for 2024. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know which shade you're gonna be picking up if you are gonna pick up any of these and I'll see you all in my next one.